I have been traveling since my refugee life started. When I already knew that something is happening, I came to Armenia to find a place where I'm going to escape. And the earthquake happened, so I had no luck to find a place to live. Went back to Baku, and that's where one year I stayed in 1989. I completely left Baku, never went back uh, with a little amount of things to Armenia. And in Karabakh, I lived after I became a refugee six months when my baby was born. Uh, 93, I left Armenia. I lived in Moscow. And in 1996, I went to America, to San Diego, and never left the place. We are all over the places now, and our graves are around the world. Um, it's hard to visit all of them. And um, my father was dying in Mardakert and couldn't get really medical help. And I want to see him before he dies because I didn't see him two, three years because of a war. Um, zone was closed. And if you get there, so you in. And in the morning, I pretended that I ju I'm a journalist, one of them. And so I flew there in a military helicopter. They let me in. I sit there and I hid myself behind other journalists. So I flew to Stepanakert and from there I went to Mardakert. And I saw my father six days before he died. Hi, uh, my name is Irina Petrosian. Uh, I was born in the middle, uh, in the middle of the road. Actually, my mom was my wa my mom wasn't able to hold it, and I was born on on the road. And my aunt was delivering me, and uh, it was uh, early morning, and I was born close to Mardakert, just before the hospital in Mardakert. <laughs> 